Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The New South Wales government announced that current applications to the state's solar bonus scheme have been placed on hold. Energy Matters CEO Jeremy Rich said that this boom and bust approach to solar power must end. Mr. Rich says that soon solar will become cheaper than coal, and that day can arrive even faster in Australia with solid, responsible policies to encourage uptake. The state government is recommending consumers purchasing solar systems to install net metering and to choose energy retailers who offer separate financial incentives for solar. Democratic Senate House Leader Harry Reid spoke of his vision of a renewable energy fueled economy on a diplomatic visit to China recently. Reid identified that China isn't investing in clean energy just because it's good for the environment, but also because it is good for the economy. This view came in contrast to Prime Minister Julia Gillard, who spoke primarily of how Australia could provide emissions-intensive coal and natural gas to China. NASA has established a competition encouraging amateur astronomers and veteran sky watchers to try and snap a photograph of its nanosail D solar satellite as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The satellite was deployed and successfully unfurled its 10 square meter solar sail in January this year. After orbiting for 95 days, the NanoSail D will provide NASA scientists with important data to better understand the Earth's upper atmosphere drag influences on satellite reentry. The U.S. group Solar Done Right says when all the costs of establishing and maintaining large solar farms are considered, distributed solar is comparable in efficiency and more cost effective. The group has released a report detailing some of the risks they say are associated with centralized generation, such as solar farms, and stating that increased focus on distributed solar can help provide a solution. Distributed solar refers to the network of rooftop solar systems already spreading across the country. Distributed solar power offers a multitude of other benefits over large-scale plants, including avoiding line loss and damage to wildlife habitats. Check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.